Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Cheers, good morning. Mm. I literally spend $7 on a coffee easily three times a week. So shouldn't I just like get an espresso machine? I know I talked about it in my last video, but like, oh, I just like, oh, I need one. Anyways, welcome to the vlog. Um, so Joey and I just got back from Disney. Hopefully this that vlog will be up by now, but who knows? I'm just kind of like unpacking, getting all my stuff ready. This is my last week of like break before school starts again. My last semester, woohoo. We did a little shopping. So I was like, maybe I'll do a cute little haul for YouTube. Went to Zara and Lululemon and then Sephora. Lots of good sale items at Zara. And also I look like crap per usual. Like I wish I looked good on YouTube, and like was one of those girls like had makeup on was like hi guys maybe i'd get more subscribers but whatever so let's do a little haul and then i'll probably like add a workout into this video i don't know what i'm gonna do today haven't even thought about it it's january what is it the third today january 3rd and i have not worked out once this year um it's fine we're gonna start a little late who cares i'm also like mid putting away christmas decorations i just took theo to get neutered this morning oh, poor guy it was so sad i'm like take such good care of him they're like okay so um he is gone dropped him off at like seven this morning and i'll probably pick him back up they're supposed to call me around like three when he's done with his surgery and then i wait for him to like wake up from anesthesia or whatever um also have my cute little skims set on it is so comfy 10 out of 10 huge skims fan i ended up returning the size small shorts and got the extra small and so now i have like a credit with them so i'm probably gonna buy another outfit but anyways so yeah no theo today or for the morning so i'm trying to get as much done as i can before he's back with his little cone um so let's do a cute little haul before we left i went to target to go get a backpack to carry on for disney just like a mini backpack so i have my louis bag um it's like a little louis vuitton mini backpack but it's literally breaking so um found this cute green purse at target how freaking cute is that like for summer Oh, love that. Anyways, that's my target haul right there. Let's do Sephora first. I literally just got one thing from Sephora. These, I don't know how you say it, Ilia, Ilia, I guess, drops, like bronzing drops. I don't know. I'm so easily influenced by every single TikTok video of makeup because like I don't really keep up with makeup. So when I see something, I'm like, oh, I have to go buy that. Yeah, so we'll have to try these drops out. I got them in the color Papacote, I don't know. 12.75, 12.75, if that helps you at all. Um, and I guess you just drop them and mix them with your moisturizer. I don't know, excited to try those. And then I'm such a bad little sister. It was my sister's birthday on Friday and she I used her account at Sephora and they're like, you have a birthday gift. I was like, oh yeah. So just got like some Ilia little mascara and then this lip color. And honestly, it looks like pretty good. I'm excited to try it. So that's my Sephora haul. Zara, let's do Zara next. Okay. So I got this big striped like oversized sweatshirt from Zara. I actually ordered something similar to it online, but it was like kind of high necked and the neck was so tight. I couldn't even pull it over my head. So I got this. This is a size large, just super oversized sweater. Hopefully it'll stay cool enough here in Florida for me to wear this sometime. And then also I got these jeans. They, uh, they were on sale for $30. How good is that? And oh, uh, like Zara just fits me so good. The waist is perfect. And like they're a little tight in my thighs, but they're like that straight leg that I can wear with like little booties or something, which I've been needing. So cute light wash jeans. Um, these are a size four. I always am mostly a size four in jeans. But yeah, cute little Zara outfit and on sale. Everything I got was on sale. And then just another pair of jeans. These are kind of like a little like flare at the bottom but I need jeans that I can wear like higher boots with that my jeans aren't like all the way down to my toes because it just doesn't look right so these are a little bit tighter um I realized that I wear so much like baggy tops that I need like a little bit tighter jeans because I went through a phase of like super baggy jeans with like a crop top but now I'm not really into crop tops so I just got these jeans again a size four and um they were again thirty dollars so Super cute, a little bit of a darker wash. And then lastly, I got these brown jeans. They have this little silver like belt on them and cute little pockets. They're like baggy. I got them in a size four. I actually tried these on in New York like a couple months ago and wanted to get them. And then I was like, eh, I don't need them for $60. 
but they were on sale again for 30 so super fun and cute and then lastly it's obviously wrinkled but i just got this brown like oversized t-shirt you just tuck it in with some jean shorts or like biker shorts i was actually wearing the tan one of this when i bought this in store but it was like literally ten dollars or something but they're just good really oversized tees and i got them in a size large super comfy super cute and moving on to lululemon um I know I always say I don't like Lululemon, but every time Joey and I go in, I always find something I like. Came out with this. I have always hated this top from Lululemon because I could never get it to fit me, but I got a size six in it and it actually fits me pretty good. And then just the matching aligned leggings. Both of these are like the ribbed material. They're actually super, super comfy and super, super stretchy. So these are a size four, this is a size six and it's the, let's see ribbed align leggings and top and then i did also get them in blacked as well the ribbed is just so comfy and i already had the matching top so this is like a high neck um high neck ribbed matching sports bra so i was like perfect i'll get them in black too they're super comfy and these are a size four i don't know what this top is called but i think i got it in a size six i just like fit bigger in their tops because lulu is so tight to me yeah big fan of these ribbed align pants i did get this gray scuba set these are called the relaxed scuba jogger or something i get them in a size four they're high-waisted but also like baggy they're super comfy to me and then this is the uh like zipper scuba one and i get this in a small medium i think but super cute comfy set i normally wouldn't wear it zipped but not wearing anything under it and i know you're probably thinking or not thinking like wow that's a lot of money at lululemon yes my bill was like 500 dollars, but i get the discount from like coaching and dance and whatever so i do get the like 20 percent off or whatever it is for the sweat collective so my total ended up being like 200 300 dollars or something so honestly that discount is really really helpful love everything i got and hope you enjoyed that little haul let's go to the gym in a little bit i'm back Oh, I just did some editing and I finally finished going through all my clothes. I have like six trash bags of clothes that I need to have a closet sale for. But my new thing has been getting ready for the gym. I think it's because I've been watching so much like get ready with me TikToks. And so I have all the little drops and like bronzer stuff to use. So I'm not like putting on like a full face of makeup, but just like that natural glow that doesn't look like this. And I've been doing a lot of like filming for reels and TikToks and stuff. So uh, I want to look like not deadly in those. This is my little gym fit today. I have on the Whitney Simmons green sports bra and then the adapt animal print leggings. These ones. Oh, Robert Betts is calling me back. My sweet, sweet baby has dirty ears, so they have to do some, like, ear tests on him or whatever. But anyways, yeah, he got neutered today, so everything went well with that. I don't have to pick him up for another two hours, so I'm going to try to go to the gym before. But let's just do, um, just a quick little get ready with me. We are just in Disney, like I said, for like a couple days. And normally this little Ziploc pouch of mine has all like my acne medicine and like my lotions and stuff. And I forgot it. And let me tell you, oh, I felt crazy not having any acne medication or like lotion. Oof, it was not great. I was so excited to come home and get that. I don't know how I forgot that either. So first I have this Fenty Beauty Primer that I'm just gonna put on first. So there's something on my face. Let's do a little bit of acne medicine since my face is breaking out. Ugh. Like, you know it's bad when you're getting, like, pimple, like, cheek pimples. I just use this prescription Axone. Everyone goes like this, so I'm going to try it. They put their lotion like this. Oh, that didn't work. There we go. And then instead of using the Drunk Elephant Drops, I'm gonna try these Ilia Drops. I'm so excited to use these. How do you even like, oh, there we go. You just like do that, I guess. I don't even know. I do not know how to do this. <gasps> oh no, I do not know how to do this makeup stuff. Like, jeez. Now let's just take like a, and like smooth it all out. Am I supposed to use my hands? I don't know. Honestly, they're pretty good. 
like a nice little glow to your skin. I'm a fan. Just like light coverage, you know, something simple for the gym. Oh, I remember one time I posted like a TikTok or something or YouTube or whatever, and I was like, uh, I just don't understand people that put on makeup to go to the gym. Like blah, blah, blah. But it's, it's just different. Like if I'm gonna go do like a leg day or like an upper body day, or something out in the gym area that I know I'm not gonna like drench and drip in sweat then I would like to put a little bit of makeup on but if I'm doing like a high intensity circuit or boot camp taking a class or anything there is no makeup for me because I know that I'm gonna be running outside sweating in a boot camp room on the turf they're not gonna want an ounce of makeup on like that's the type of scene that if I had makeup on from like work or something I would probably go wash it off in the bathroom because I would not <gasps> oh no shoot and makeup like doesn't come out of things but yeah 10 out of 10 the makeup drops are like pretty good honestly love that i'm still going to use this charlotte tilbury flawless filter um i have the color 25 it's there but i just like to like put it under my eyes i think it makes you look glowy which is like so in right now lovely let's do some contour i have this fenty beauty like bronzer like highlighter um, it's the color Island Ting, and it's super, super light. It's more of like a orangey, like tanning feel rather than like an actual bronzer. It makes you look alive and well. And then this is the Anast Anastasia Rich Amber, and it's like a dark, like this is what I used to use on the shift for my like, uh, performance makeup, but I'll just do like a little dash that. Give myself some cheekbones that I don't have. And then I use the Benefit um, eyebrow gel and just like brush. Brush up my eyebrows because those little like bushy eyebrows that looks like when you take your shirt off and your eyebrows are stuck up is like in, I guess, right now. So we're gonna leave that as is. And then I'm just gonna take, honestly, like when I'm doing just one coat of mascara, I don't even care which kind I use because my eyelashes are so long any, anyways, but I do use this Clinique primer, it's just like white primer. And it, I've used it for like years with the Clinique mascara, but they no longer sell the mascara I like anymore. So my go-to is the Maybelline Last Sen Sensational. It's so good. It's like the blackest black color. It's a curved brush and it has bristles all around it. And I think it makes my eyelashes the most voluminous and long at the same time. Voluptuous, if you must. Normally, if I were going out or something, I would do a million coats of that to make my eyelashes like super, super long. But I don't want them super, super long right now because when I start to sweat, then like the black gets everywhere. So I try not to make them too long when I'm just going to the gym but that's it just a cute little maybe some just a little bit of highlighter maybe wherever I don't know I always put it on the tip of my nose I feel like it makes you look whatever and then my hair is probably just gonna stay in this bun and yeah I still haven't decided I think I might try to do like quick glutes or something I used to hate leg day and now I've been watching so much like leg day TikToks and stuff that now I'm like so um, let's go work our glutes. Okay, changed my sweatshirt because I looked crazy with that makeup spot. I got the iCloud I on clouds. They're the Cloud Nova maybe in all white. And I freaking love them so much. I wore them to Animal Kingdom and Epcot and all that stuff and was so comfortable. Didn't get blisters. 10 out of 10 for me. I understand the on cloud hype now. So I'm gonna wear these to the gym for my leg day because I absolutely love them. Joey had them first, I will give him credit, but I got them second and second's the best, so. All right, party people, you are about to experience the most juiciest, delicious booty workout ever. Okay, we are starting off with sumo stance barbell squats. So my feet are a little bit wider than hip distance and my toes are a little bit turned out. And try not to let your body fall forward. You really wanna keep your spine in a neutral position and squatting all the way down and big squeeze on the way up. I did four sets of six to eight reps here. I added on a little bit more weight and kind of got down to six six reps. So there you go.
All right, moving on to none other than the hip thrust. So at our gym, we have this little pre-set up like hip thrust area and the barbell is a little bit smaller and it's a lot easier to load than making your own setup. So I just put 55s on the side and the goal here was six sets of 10 reps. So normally I'll do like put a six minute timer up and every minute I'll do 10 reps, but this is basically the same thing. And I am wearing a band here. So after I did my 10 reps, I immediately dropped the weight and went straight into these little like clamshell things. My feet are hip distance apart and I'm just like pushing my knees out using my outer glutes for this. And I did 20 reps here. So hip thrust straight into clamshells. All right, I clearly could not get a good angle on those hip thrusts. So I did another angle here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my feet are hip distance apart and my knees are at a 90 degree angle and I'm letting my hips sit almost all the way down. My chin is tucked and I am just giving a big thrust at the top, really squeezing those glutes. I never used to be a leg day, glute day girly. And now I hate to say that I've watched so much like TikTok and Instagram reels about all these girls and their big booty dump trucks. So here I am. I'm just trying to build one um, and honestly hip thrusts are going to be your best friend I do them every single leg day um, that I incorporate glutes and hamstrings in and I seriously think they have made a huge difference I promise these clamshells are the best burnout and next up we have some Romanian deadlifts also called RDLs joy for Christmas got me some wrist trap traps wrist straps and they have been insanely life-changing because I could never get enough weight on the bar to where it was burning my glutes but just pulling out my wrist and my forearms so wrist straps are a total game changer 10 out of 10 recommend them I did four sets of 10 here and made sure to go really heavy also my camera died at this point so this is a lovely video off my phone sorry for the bad angles I literally cut my face out but you really want to keep the bar as close to your knees like you're rolling a rolling pin down the front of your legs also make sure you're keeping a neutral spine you don't want your back to hunch over or arch or anything like that and as always I have to do some sort of cardio burnout finisher so we got this like sprint treadmill machine at our gym that you like lean forward into this belt and then start running on it and it is so 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 insanely hard it feels like you have a huge parachute on your back and you're trying to run but I tried to do like 20 seconds of this it looks like I'm going so slow but I swear I was sprinting for my life I did 20 seconds here and then went straight into a jump rope I always bring a jump rope with me to the gym and I just did 100 reps and then I did six rounds of this five or six rounds just go until you, you feel like you've done enough and you have maxed out your legs and your glutes are absolutely on fire and that it's gonna hurt to squat to go to the bathroom tomorrow and just like that we are not only done with the gym but we have picked back up my sweet sweetsie from the bed he had his little surgery and turns out he had a double um ear infection like a yeast infection in his ears so I am officially the worst dog mom because I had no idea they gave him medicine for that and cleaned his ears and stuff and they really need to come up, like up with something better than this. Like his poor ears are smudged in here. Homeboy can't drink, he can't eat. Terrible. So I did a little Amazon researching and someone said a surgical suit. So I just ordered that off Amazon. It's like a little suit that you like wrap them up in. And then I also got a blow up cone. So it's just like an inflation, like kind of like an airport, like airplane pillow thing them so hopefully that should help with like the comfort around his head because he is not liking the cone and i made chicken and rice and edamame with teriyaki sauce for dinner basically just all i had left over in the fridge so i'm gonna have that for dinner my camera did die during my workout so yeah i don't i have like bad quality of my finisher sorry for the bad quality of that started out great and then camera died and so yeah, bad news for me. Yeah, I had a pretty good booty day and it was short and sweet, but hey, we got it done and timing worked out perfectly. Went and got him right after. I hope you enjoyed this little workout and haul vlog. Little, <laughs> he looks so like helpless. Poor guy. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Like, subscribe, comment, all the things. And I will see, we will see, hopefully without a cone, all your beautiful faces in the next video.
Also, comment if you want to see any like workouts or I don't know. You tell me, people, what you want to see.